I asked you a question. Here I am thinking that you're on your honeymoon. <laughs> this is the story of my life. Wow. So this peaceful home has turned to a war zone. All thanks to you. What do you mean all thanks to me? Yes, it's your fault. Judging from all you have said to me, it's your fault. Oh, 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 oh. Were you expecting your husband to throw his family away just because he's married to you? Hmm. See, let me tell you, marriage is a union of two families, not just the two parties involved. Anything that happens to your husband, his family will hold your family responsible. And anything that happens to you, your family will hold his family responsible. That's why it's a union of two families. Olivia, hmm. that is your perception. It's the truth. See, Vivian, I specifically asked you, knowing full well that they all stay under the same roof, if you would want to stay with them. What did you say? You said, yes, you love his family, his family loves you, you love your husband so much. Were you lying to them? Well, they love me. I love them too, that's fine. But do they all have to stay under the same roof with me? You that is speaking. Does your husband people stay under the same roof with you? Come off it, Vivian. You know the reason why they are not staying under the same roof with us? My mother-in-law does not like me. That's why my husband had to let them stay away. But in your case, it's a total ball game entirely. This family loves you. And they have given you all and more than you deserve. Do you want to pick them up? And who are you to advise my daughter on how to run her home. Oh, good afternoon, Mama. Keep your unsolicited greeting to yourself. It is stupid friends like you that mislead others. Look at you. Sneaky chameleon. Hypocrite. You do one thing, then advise people to do the other. Did you not send your husband's family out of your home? No. I did not send my husband's family out. You're getting it all wrong. My husband decided to send them out. And besides, I wanted to manage with them. But my husband asked them to go out because he doesn't want anybody to stress me. Hey. <laughs> then I should be stressed in my own husband's house. Are you not being biased? Biased? Vivian, you say biased? <laughs> mama, mama, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do you want to ruin your daughter's life? Hey! Do you want to ruin her home? I will not have you come into my house and speak to my mother the way you're doing. I won't take that insult from you. I am not here to insult anybody. And I'm not here to insult you, Mama. But Vivian, understand that at limits to these things. Your mother staying in this house is wrong. She has a home in this town. Why don't you just stay in her house? Is that coming here to cause more harm? One more word out of that gutter you call a mouth and I will land you with the heaviest slap you have to receiving in your life. I don't even know what my daughter is doing with someone like you. Forming friendship when obviously you do not mean well for her. I mean well for her, Mama. And I will always do. But if telling her the truth will hurt, I don't care. Helen practically treats her like a sister. She used to wear Helen's clothes in this house. Whatever thing she asks of Helen, Helen gives her without blinking an eye. What more does she want from this family? Does she want the family to lay down their life for her? At this juncture, it is obvious you have overstayed your welcome. Now out. I do not want you distracting my daughter from greatness. Leave. Vivian, what do you have to say? Should I go? Get out of my house. It is very obvious that you have come here to say nothing sensible to me. You heard my mother. Get out. Okay. All right. I heard you loud and clear. I will leave. I will leave. But no one thing. One day you will wake up in this house wishing that they are all surrounding you. One day you will wake up wishing that this family you want to throw away are in this house. You want to be a loner, right? Go ahead. I won't stop you. But no one thing. Karma is real. 
shoo, shoo, shoo. Look here. There are some kind of people you should mingle with, and there are some kind that you should be far away from. That one is a bad influence. Her kind, what they are great at, is dragging you down. Down to their level. You are a queen. You are my lioness. Roar for me, my baby. told me that she was traveling to go and see her sister. Not knowing that she went to her daughter's to go and create havoc. What is wrong with her? When your brother came to me and said he wanted to marry my daughter, I asked one simple question. I said to him, are you sure? Not because my daughter is a bad person, but because she simply listens to her mother too much. And her mother He's not exactly a good person. I'm very sorry to say this about my, my wife. When she's fixated on destroying something, she doesn't stop. She doesn't stop. I don't know how I'm going to come into this issue. I will talk to my wife and my daughter. As long as you guys have been living in that house in peace, I don't think there's a point in you living. Thank you very much. So you need to come into this issue and do something about it. Because your wife and your daughter are doing so much, bringing havoc in, 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 in that home. And that's why I've come to you, sir. Uh, but you see, the one I will not allow is for anybody to come into my daughter's matrimonial home and be disturbing her. But you see, I've also seen how much love you people have shown her. She hardly stays in this house. Eh? She's always at that house, even before she got married to your brother. In fact, at some point, I had to ask her whether her bride price had been paid without my knowledge. You see, my dear, I will not allow my wife to destroy the peace in that home. Hmm? One marriage destroyed is enough. She will not destroy another. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your wise words. You've always been known as a wise and nice man. And that's why I came here to discuss this matter with you, sir. Leaving the home is not the problem. The actual problem is, if we leave that house, is my brother safe? Will he be happy if we finally leave? Will everything be solved? That's the problem, sir. Nobody is going anywhere. Nobody will leave that house. Nobody is going nowhere. If my daughter cannot live with all of you in peace, uh, then she should come back home. She should come back home. I know how well you people have strived to make her comfortable. Marriage is all about sacrifices and compromise. And if my daughter is not willing to do any of those, uh, that means she's not willing to be a wife. I will go with you. Thank you very much, sir. God okay, bless. my dear. Thank you. It's okay. How are you feeling? Better. Why are you bent on destroying yourself? I don't understand. You know what will end all this. Why don't you just do it and have some peace? Ask them to leave. Do you love me? Of course I do. I love you. I would not have married you. Then I have a request. What is it? Baby, please allow my family to stay here. Please, sending them away. I, I can't live without them, I swear. If, if, if they go, it's just like it's going to be like a death sentence to me. Please, I beg you, baby. See, I, I promise you, I won't ask of anything again in this marriage. And if my family happens to annoy you or create problems for you in the future, I, you're free to do anything you want to do. Please. No. 
cannot stay with them. I cannot live with them in this house. So if that is what you're asking me, the answer is no. I'm only here because my mother asked me to stay. So you have to choose. Just decide. Me or your family. journey you made. You told me that you were going to see your sister. But here you are, in your daughter's home, to destroy her marriage that is barely two weeks old, right? On the contrary, I'm not here to destroy anything. But if in the process something gets destroyed, then perhaps it was meant to be destroyed. Hmm. Well, I am here now. Nothing will go wrong in this family. So go in there and pack your things because once I am done from here, you're coming with me. I'm not going anywhere with you, Dickie. Dear me. <laughs> 